Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Jung and I'm the executive chef of retail dining at the University of Massachusetts. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make chicken Chesterfield. Let's take a look at some of the ingredients we'll be utilizing in this recipe. I've got three uh, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I've got my uh, trusty uh, pepper mill there. I've got some kosher salt, a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour, uh, a pair of tongs, and a cookie tray here. All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna season uh, the chicken breasts first before we actually dredge it. So let's get some pepper on there. and a little bit of kosher salt. Okay, we're gonna flip these guys over. And repeat. All right, so we're gonna add our uh, flour um, to our tray here. Get a flour and we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to that, a little bit more pepper. Gonna spread it around a little bit. And we're just going to lightly dredge our chicken breasts here. And it's really important to uh, season uh, the protein or the chicken in this case, along with the flour to make sure that everything is well seasoned. Because really this is the only time you can season um, the chicken breasts. All right. They look pretty good. And the last one. All right. All right, so let's bring the chicken breasts over to uh, the stove here. And what I've done ahead of time is uh, I have a very large uh, cast iron pan here uh, that I've added a little bit of uh, canola oil to, and I've got it over medium high. All right, so our oil is coming up to temperature here. All right, and I'm just gonna Lay the chicken breasts right into the pan. You can hear that just a little bit of sizzle. That's kind of what we're looking for. All right, so our chicken breast is about ready to turn. You can see it's kind of sizzling in here. That's because of uh, some of the moisture is evaporating uh, quite uh, quite quickly. So let's just grab the chicken breast and turn them over. So you can see we have some great golden brown color on the breast. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish our cooking these and I'll show you the next step. Alright, so our chicken is about done. So I'm just going to put them in this uh, glass casserole dish. There we are. Alright, so the next step in this recipe is uh, we're, we're going to start uh, cutting up some uh, bacon. I've got three strips here and we're just going to cut them into nice little lardons. We're just going to put them in this bowl here, and we're going to go back to the stove. There should be a good amount of residual heat left over from uh, pan frying the chicken. And we're just going to cook these guys until they're crispy. All right, so let's make the sauce for our uh, chicken Chesterfield. So let's start with uh, the ranch. Get that mustard in there and just a little bit of soy sauce, just to add a little bit of savoriness. All right, bring up our chicken. And we're just gonna add a little bit of the sauce right on top. All right, so let's start with our uh, cheese topping. Uh, I have two different cheddars here. Uh, one is an orange uh, Cabot cheddar from Vermont, and the other one is a white, uh, two-year-old uh, Grafton cheddar uh, from Grafton, Vermont. So uh, both are uh, excellent cheddars. They're both local and uh, yeah, we love supporting local. So uh, let's get these shredded. And the reason why I'm not using pre-shredded cheese is because often it comes with a, uh, a caking agent and uh, that caking agent really doesn't melt well. So if you really want like the cheesiest, meltiest cheese, uh, 
for your casseroles or pizzas or what have you, uh, you definitely want to shred your own cheese. A little bit more here. A little more orange. All right, I'm just going to mix them up and just top each breast with a good amount of cheese. All right, so let's take our chicken over to the oven, which I have uh, preset at uh, 350 degrees, and we're gonna bake this chicken uh, for about 20 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. So it's been about 20 minutes, and let's check in on our chicken here. I'm just gonna give this a check with our uh, instant read thermometer. It's going up to 166 degrees, which is more than enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it out of the oven. So our bacon is all set, it's all nice and crispy. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna garnish our chicken with it. I'm just gonna put it right on top. And let's bring this over to the counter. All right, so for our last ingredient, I just have a uh, scallion here uh, that I'm gonna slice just on a bias here. And what this will do is obviously give it some nice green color. Just make it rain some scallions here. All right, so that's our uh, chicken Chesterfield. So hopefully you found this video very educational and that you'll try chicken Chesterfield at home.